smoky, hence price. So no issues. Ethan, it comes with a spare engine. It's got <laughs> issues. <laughs> this is how you win against government tax. Fuel prices around the world have skyrocketed. In the UK, for example, you'll be expected to pay up to £1.85 a litre, which means it'll cost around £111 to fill up a mid-sized saloon. As for anyone stupid enough to have just bought a large SUV, dummies like this guy can kiss goodbye to £150 to refuel. Oh God. So in light of all of this doom and gloom, we decided to set ourselves the challenge of beating the pumps and buying the cheapest, most fuel efficient car for 500 pounds. We'll then take it on a road trip, calculate our costs and work out if buying the right car at the right price can help you beat the pumps too. We want something lightweight, old, <laughs> rear wheel drive, at least three seats, something with an MOT, although with the, with the prices of fuel, there's got to be a little bit of give. No MOT, but you're still paying £1.93 on the motorway. <laughs> they can't have everything. Is that what is on the motorway? Yeah, I paid £1.93 the other day oh to word. fill up my brand new X5. Slip right. that in. Yeah, I did slip it in. You can check it out on Instagram. Woo! <laughs> old diesel, I'm thinking an old Peugeot. We don't want to pay at the pumps. We could do like a 50 fix, 50 mix of vegetable oil yes. and diesel. Screw you, government. Stuff like Peugeot 205s, the old diesels are gonna be out. 405s probably also gonna be out. They're too expensive now. And so, we only want diesels. We don't want electric, do we? What was that a stupid question? That's a really stupid I'm question. I'm glad you got what there What electric car can you get for 500 pounds? We just bought two for less than that. Yeah, oh, are they working? Do they have batteries? No, no, they have no batteries. We don't want PDs, do we? No. We've done PDs. We've done, we've done, we've done so much PD in. Did you say something like a year? It can't be. <laughs> are you are you feeling all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you not sound all right? <laughs> oh, it was a big weekend. You went to watch the UFC? Yeah, I did. Did you take part? Got punched in the throat, that's why he sounds like <laughs> that. <laughs> did you say... I can't, I can't. Did you say... I can't even say it. The older the better. Volvo. S40, not needed anymore, not ULES free. ULES is another yeah. very topical thing at the moment, which we will come to at some point, but not in this video. But basically, ULES ultra low emission zone covers London. And then our mayor, Sadiq Khan, has decided that he wants to expand ULES to within the M25, which means that my new X5, three litre diesel, will have to go. There's a knocking sound which has been there, and I'll be honest with you, it's a common problem in Volvos. Where's the knocking coming from, the engine? I'm pretty much at the 800 pound mark. Oh, that's too much. Yeah. It is too much. That's a lot of negotiating. Oh, that is ugly. Did you catch a reflection? <laughs> oh wow, a one pound 2021 BMW yeah. X5. I mean, they do look like bricks, but that maybe it's the colour that's doing it. I have an 04 Civic. Is that too new? Probably not lend itself to veg oil. It's £895. We have a budget of... 500 Where's all the old French tat? It's just all expensive now. Say at Ibiza, 1.9 <laughs> Sport TDI, 695. Description, it says 795. Bargain, no offers. So he's already given himself an offer. Oh no, 1992 CC. Well, don't do that. What? What? You completely out. What can I do? You got the whole internet. There's nothing further out of Auto Trade. Should I look on eBay? I want to have a little look. On Get eBay. out! No. Facebook Marketplace is just pure nonsense. I can't look at it anymore. <sighs> They're trying to sell me trousers. How about? Here we go. A TX4. A TX4. Yep. What is that? It's a f London taxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this might be it actually. I will close my laptop again. <laughs> 600 pounds. We've always talked about this. Good running cab, good engine drives well, gearbox has delayed gear change occasionally. Maybe requires a service, don't worry about it. Has livery, good condition all round, few minor marks, ideal workhorse, usual wear and tear, 600 quid, hold out your hands. Look at that plate, just 57. But he's blurred it out. <laughs> <laughs> And I think these cabs run the old uh, Ford Transit diesel engines. So I have a feeling you can probably shit in it and it would probably run. <laughs> we could whistle him down from the side of the street. <laughs> busy night, mate. <laughs> Maybe he's busy. Hello, mate. I see that you've got a taxi for sale on Gumtree. Yeah, it's just about five minutes ago. I'm going to take the hat off. I'm sorry. 
Oh, okay. Oh, no. But we know that they exist for six hundred pounds. Yeah, it's open. So the get door. on eBay, get okay. on Facebook. You look for those taxis. There you go. Oh, hello. Ex London taxi, not till May. Been sat for four months, drives okay. The MOT runs out in May, so maybe he's thinking like, right, I've actually got to shift this now. This is an eyesore in my front garden. Yeah. When did he put this up for sale? Three days ago in West Drayton. Oh my God. Uh, literally next door. Is it? Yeah. Ring him. Jack, have you just one-timed it? Probably. Like, you you can go adding up all the ads that you've put in. One of mine is worth like 20 of yours. Oh. <laughs> the MOT history on that taxi I put in isn't bad. This is all brakes. This is brake stuff. What's considered old tat these days? Because in my head, it's like a 1992.05 or 1991, like a, a J Reg or something like that, 405. Have I got too old? And has my sense of old tat just not moved with the times? Do you want to take this one? <laughs> yeah, I think the answer it yourself. Fiat Doblo 1.9D, smoky, hence price. Spare engine and gearbox included if wanted. What? So no issues? Ethan, it comes with a spare engine. It's got issues. <laughs> as as matey replied. No, I've messaged him. We've got a big selection. Oh, oh no, he has. Oh, br brilliant. How long, was how long ago? That taxi. Oh. 10 minutes ago. Come on, David. Hello? Yeah, could you, um, could you just tell me a little bit more about it? What was it like overall? So it's my girlfriend's granddad's taxi and he brought it up. Oh eBay, sort of by accident, to be honest. Oh. It was up at 8.95 and I dropped it to 7.95 this morning because I don't have much interest in it. Okay, to be honest with you, I'm probably at a budget of about 500 pounds. Right, let me speak to her granddad. Yeah. And I'll give you a call. All right, sweet. All right, oh. see ya, bye. Should we go to West Kebab? Oh, and, shut up. And just have a think. Hold on, that's my line. Should we go to West Kebab? <laughs> Hello. Hello, mate, you all right? Hello, you all right, how's it going? I'm going to put a battery on charge, so it does blow up a jump start. Okay, okay, cool. And did he, did he say he was happy with 500? Yeah, yeah, he did take 500 for it. He just wanted to go and get back and get a car anyway. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, send me the postcode, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, see you in a bit, bye. So 500 quid, he's done the deal. Yeah, very eager to sell. There we go. Yeah, I guess we just bought out your ad. You've just bought yourself a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> How many cars have we bought in West Cabal? Yeah. A lot. It's just good luck as well. It was as soon as we walked in and sat down, my phone started ringing. <laughs> well, let's eat first and yeah, then go yeah. pick up a shagged taxi. And here it is, our LTI TX2 that we picked up for 500 quid. The reason that it's with us is because I picked it up a few days ago because he couldn't see us on the day that we wanted to. No. So we're back at the farm, ready for an adventure. The stuff that's probably gone on in the back of that as well. <laughs> yeah. And it's important to note as well, this isn't obviously a real taxi anymore, is no, it? No, no, no. What would it be? Well, it's a fake taxi. Anyway, shall we have a quick look around our London taxi. I know absolutely nothing about taxis. Probably not that good on fuel, which for the video isn't that great. Yeah. However, it will swallow a lot of vegetable oil, whether it likes it or not. I mean, considering it's done 270,000 miles, it's not actually in too bad nick, is it? No, it's just a bit scabby. Oh, that familiar taxi sound. Yeah. Very basic, mechanical fuel pump proper basic bitch engine. And it does smell a wee bit hot. You've also noticed I had to put a brand new battery on it. Yeah, I saw that. Because it was completely knackered. It's probably never even been serviced as well. Probably doesn't need servicing, right? Probably not. What have we got here then? Not a lot, actually, by the looks of it. Not a lot. There's a lot of plastic, no seat here. Everything has just been built to last. The seat is quite hard, but it's not actually too uncomfortable. I like that you can properly like rock back on it as well. Yeah. Is it supposed to do that though, or is that broken? I don't know. Considering you that uh, a cabbie would spend all day in here. I don't see a lot for the taxi driver themselves. I mean, there's not a lot of lights. I would want storage and tables. They do other stuff as well. They don't only drive. They converse with, you know, with the, with the general public as okay. well. Especially like if, if there's a payment problem or the, the card payment doesn't work. Yeah, then there's always yeah, yeah. means and ways. Yeah. There's a lot of buttons as well. Here is your intercom button. 
So that, you can talk to work. people in the back. If the intercom button doesn't work, that's probably what I'm getting confused with. That's when the driver will probably get in the back yeah. and have have that personal conversation. It, it's unusual though, because usually, like recently when I've seen taxis, they don't have this and the passenger likes to lean through this. Maybe there's been like some stuff in the glove box that the passenger just wanted to reach for yeah, and yeah. the driver's helping just bringing up the rear really. Um, it's always useful. Yeah, it's quite yeah. a physical job, isn't it? It can be. It looks it really, like it. Yeah, yeah, it really can be. <laughs> Up here is where the meter would have gone. Oh, that's a shame that's gone. That would have been yeah, good. That would have been cool. I think that's enough chat up front. Shall we go to the business end? Yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is yeah, really good. Now I've got seat belt and everything. The history with this. Yeah. Just imagine how many people have been inside here. There is cigarette ash everywhere in this vehicle. Have you noticed that? Oh, really? It's a dusting yeah. of, like everywhere. We have some hubcaps, which are quite oh, rank. There will be some a disability ramp. Is that right? I don't know. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, I thought. So it has two ramps with it. Maybe for the other side? <laughs> when I was doing some research as well, the lady just tripped. And then I think the driver came round and helped her up. But that, that took a while. Yeah, okay. we've, we've not done something right here, have we? No. Sorry, I just, just keep on remembering that video. Sorry to all the cab drivers out there. We don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Should we move on? It doesn't go. It doesn't go in like that. It doesn't, Jack. You're right. Being a cab driver is very difficult. Wait. wait. No, we're back to where we started. We'll speed all this bit up, won't we? Oh. Oh shit. That's, <laughs> that's why cab drivers take so long when they're in the back. There's a lot of cramming shit into other shit, isn't there? There really is. <laughs> it's good pointing. <laughs> Where to, love? Uh, sorry, sorry, force of habit. Yeah, just, um, just up the M40, please. So, what's, what's with the face? Oh yeah, sorry about that, That's, that happens, yeah. Strap on, hey, strap in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, here we go, right. Red light indicates doors are secured. Good luck to that. Oh no, it's not secured. Hey, you gotta close that, mate. <laughs> can I, can, can you hear Hello? me? Why? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Oh, I can hear you. Really? Oh, oh, oh I can, can hear you. you. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Where's it coming out? It's coming out of the speaker here. This is so weird. It's like you're sat on the steering wheel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello, mate. What's this like to drive, Jack? It depends if you're steering or not. If you're steering, it's fine. If you're going in a straight line, there's a dead spot where it just does absolutely nothing. How much fuel have you got? You've got about a quarter of a tank, just over. Because we are beating the pumps. We're going to go buy a whole bunch of oil and then we're going to put that oil in the fuel tank. So let's see how much our journey will cost us versus diesel. And then we can recommend if you should do it too. I have to say, this is really quite weird being driven by Jack in a, yeah. in a taxi. It suits him. It does, yeah. It does suit him. Jack is a proper taxi driver. It oh, hold up. So Wait, it does suit him. Switch him off now. That's, yeah, that's nice. it really does suit him. Turn your inner come on. Right, so bought uh, 30 litres of sunflower oil, which works out at roughly a pound a litre. And um, we're in the Asda car park, making a wee bit of a mess, but we will clean it all up. They don't sell any decent funnels, so I've made a makeshift funnel. You fashioned one out of a plate. <laughs> the roast don't film that, there's evidence of us making a mess. I think I've got the good job here. We're getting some proper strange looks. I bet. With the GoPros in the taxi as well. I know, I know what they assume it is, but then when they turn the corner and see us doing this, they're like, I don't know. This is how you win against government tax. Yeah. This is us 
and gone. <laughs> Shall we go and get some towels and clear this up and then we can be on our way. With the taxi now full of vegetable oil, it was time to take it on a little road trip. Right then. Yeah? Got these brakes. Um, pulsating. I can't hear what you're saying. It's quite nice. View your intercom off. Drive. Would you please put my window up a little bit? It's just a little bit blowy. Drive. Yeah? Window uppy. <laughs> Better, sir? Yes, not difficult, is it? He does the basic job of driving, but there's no, he doesn't go beyond that. There's no finesse. How's she running, Jack? Straight and true. Can we say that the red oil works? It's too soon, okay. it's far too soon. Oh, one minute. It was sputtering a bit there. Is it? Uh -oh. ah, I got you! Ethan, one thing I've noticed when uh, Jack listens to the radio, I can switch his radio off by pressing the intercom button. Really? Yeah. Shall we f*** with him? Hello, drive! <laughs> How are you? How is the journey going? Yeah, it's going great. Every time you turn that into come on. I'm We've had this discussion. Yeah, do you want to listen to the radio? I'm turning it off. <laughs> What's the fuel gauge saying? Is it saying oil? Just set above the three quarter mark. So okay. We've, we've used a little bit of it now. All right. And it seems to be moving still. So all good signs. It is now impossible for this to fail. Brilliant. This is not a B-Road Blaster, is it? It is not. Uh, I think we're probably on a good mix of diesel and veg oil at the moment. Oh yeah, for sure. Any difference in the way it drives? It still drives like shit. There we go, perfect. This has been an experiment well done. It does, yeah. yeah. Think of the money you'd be saving. What would you do with that money that you'd save? Buy some diesel. You could do like one year on, one year off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just wish there were more activities in the back. Yeah. What can we do? Put our feet up. Yeah, we can. Come on, put your feet up. Put your, put your feet up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Stop! Sorry, my foot slipped. Is this is this all right here, mate? Yeah, yeah no. In in you go. Keep going to the plinth, please. Drive. Which one's the plinth? Where? The the, the, the sand pit. Oh look, he, oh god, he's had to go forward again, that's all. It's, it's because the, the turning circle on this f is too... <laughs> it's, not, it's not tight enough. Thank you, Drive. How much is that, mate? Yeah. Oh, we don't have, I don't have any money, do you have uh, money? I don't have any money. Uh, can, can we... Can we come to some arrangement? I'll join you and we'll talk about it. Oh, right. <laughs> you want to come in the back? Excuse yeah, me. that'll do it. <laughs> Right then, as you can see, we have made it to Cafe and Machine where we're going to have a very nice dinner. We have done 50 miles on vegetable oil and we have done some maths, so you don't have to. 50 miles using diesel at £1.80 or thereabouts would have cost us £13.50. It's quite steep and that is, that is with the taxi doing 30 mpg, which I think is fair, especially on the motorway. But we didn't use diesel no because be what did we do we beat the pumps our cost at one pound nine uh, per litre is eight pound 17 for the same journey very good that's really good so eight pound 17 we paid 13 pounds 50 all you suckers have to pay yeah. got it over the course of roughly a year so around two and a half thousand litres if you were to use diesel fill up with diesel at one pound 80 you would spend four and a half grand on diesel. Ooh. On veg oil though, you would be spending 2,725 pounds. Wow. That is a saving of 
Yeah. <laughs> More than 1,500 pounds. 17.75? 1775, yeah. thank you. We'll edit that, so I said that. <laughs> there are tax imp implications if you go over two and a half thousand um, litres. But I think for the purposes of this video, we have beaten the pumps. We set out with a task. Yeah. And we've done it. We've been doing that a lot recently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we just keep succeeding. And also, if you get veg oil from a fish and chip shop and if you strain it yourself to, I think, below five micro microns or something like that, then you can really beat the pumps. Zero batter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No chips. Don't go out and buy veg oil and put it in your diesel. Chances are it won't like it. It has to be a really old diesel. This is an old transit engine. So make sure you do your research. But for now, should we go and have some lovely dinner? Yeah. And then hope that this starts up again later oh, when it's yeah. cold. Oh, God. Anyway, from us, thank you very much for watching. We're going to have some dinner. Uh, subscribe here. Watch more videos over there. Also, oh. we've got new merch. We do. Oh, We've got lovely. some new designs. I've got a stain on it, yeah. but... Um, you do? Do they come with the stains? No, unfortunately not. Oh, no. Okay. I can put them on though, if you yes. want. Check out the link in the description. There's yeah. more stuff in the shop. Cool. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Why are they still here? <laughs>